Hi everyone, this is the final entry of my Umax playthrough of Pagodia the Biz Map 9 Mass Production, which was made by Juza. So, this map starts pretty slow and very tight on ammo. I try to make chain gunners in fight with the imps below uh, while I'm down here, and then ride the lift up. This switch opens the door outside, but it's on a timer, so it will close after some time. I will have to open it several times, uh, that's because I really want to be conservative on health and ammo in the beginning section. I'm even using pistol a bit. Both cacos went inside, uh, that's perfect. And now it's time to finally go outside. There is a blue armor secret that I'm skipping right now. Uh, I'll return to it in a bit. I want to clear the inside of the building first, so I'll go into the caves with uh, 200 armor. Okay, all clear, uh, let's get that secret. You just press on this wall here and it lowers and here's your blue armor. And now to the cave section. Now, this fight is kind of awkward, uh, I can't really do it consistently without either getting zapped or eating a missile, uh, but with blue armor uh, it's okay. Here I'm also skipping a secret soul sphere, I will come back to it later so that I enter the next hard fight with 200 health. So I'm really taking this beginning section uh, very slow. And this monkey buy on rising and lowering platforms are really awkward to hit sometimes. It's best to shoot rockets when the lift is lowering uh, or when it only begins to rise. Mankibus can hit me when he is uh, on the top of that platform, so I'll deal with Revenant now, and when it lowers, I'll deal with Mankibus. I usually try to make the Baron in fight with the Revenant, but uh, 
the stand. He didn't want to. Oh yeah, once again, taking a slow here to save health and armor. And by the way, just like in many other levels, this cave uh, has Squonka and Pagodia signs. Okay, time to go back for that secret. You can go through this waterfall and down below you can find a soul sphere and an iconic slap gif uh, from Gundam. Now for the next fight. Uh, you'll have to fight an Archwild, three Kakos, a Pain Elemental and a Green Cyber in a very awkward space where all the flying monsters are really annoying due to infinite height uh, so I'll focus on the pain elemental first and only then I'll focus on the arch wild. And this platform in the middle uh, it's really unreliable in terms of uh, getting you out of the line of sight of the arch wild. And the cave section is done now. Now we have a red key and can go back. Uh, and in my early attempts I sometimes was almost completely out of ammo by the time I get here and that's why I started to be more conservative with ammo and that paid off. To get the next secret you need to shoot this panel and this lowers this plasma that you can immediately use to kill the green cyber. But uh, be quick because the archwald has spawned in the starting area. Also he outsmarted me here and got behind my back. You can now activate the lift and also open this door, but behind there are two more doors uh, that require blue and yellow key respectively. Uh, from now on you can choose which key you want to do first, uh, and I'm going for the blue key first. Uh, although I will clean up some yellow key area entrance as well, so I'm not sniped later. So this door to the right leads you to the blue key entrance, but the lift here is not working yet, and I will return here later. And here in the middle uh, is a section that will allow you to go for the switch that will uh, fix the blue key elevator. I just want to deal with this annoying caco uh, from here. And here on the left is the entrance to the yellow key area. And as you can see, uh, I'm cleaning up the beginning of all three passes first. And that's mostly to get rid of snipers.
And yeah, Monkey Buy placement is really annoying here, uh, so I take my time killing them. Also, I saw a cyber shoot me from the distance, so I'm taking cover. Uh, and now to the central area. Green cybers uh, emerges here from the container, uh, but he can be dealt with using plasma. Now let's go inside. So this switch uh, on the right, it lowers plasma down there and the second switch uh, repairs the elevator and also spawns hatch files. Unfortunately, I face rocketed myself here, so I have to be really careful with the second hatch file now. Okay, now to get the blue key. Also, this vending machine uh, gives you some health bonuses. And uh, it's kind of awkward because it's inconsistent uh, in different levels. In some levels, vending machines uh, give you stuff, and in some levels, they don't. So here is that plasma that we lowered, uh, and also green armor. And now we can take that lift. And I wait here a bit and hope that the Revenant will shoot and hit the Baron, but he decided not to, so I had to change my plans and kill him myself. bit of a jump scare here uh, and this fight I want to immediately focus on the Mancubus and then the helmets are not a threat. Now if you shoot this switch, uh, the wall lowers and that's where you can get a secret soul sphere and some rockets. Okay, uh, double checking that all of them are dead and now to get the yellow key. Also, I keep getting surprised by this revenants every time. 
for some reason. Now let's deal with the remaining enemies in this area. Also this sign says uh, Squonker. You can use this lift where the Arachnotron was uh, to get some cells. And you can also get some secret cells here by walking into the cave behind the waterfall on the right. Uh, so yeah, two waterfall secrets in one map. Uh, how likely is that, huh? Now for the next section, uh, I really want to run past everything and go for the secret teleporter that will allow me to telefrag all the cybers, uh, because I don't want to fight the monsters here while being sniped by the cybers. Unfortunately, I failed to jump down to that uh, secret platform two times in a row. Uh, fortunately, it didn't cost me much health, but uh, yeah. The jump was stupid, I should have just redone uh, what I originally was planning to do. Just jump from the right side. But yeah, finally the jump is successful and this switch opens a teleporter uh, that I'll take now. So yeah, this teleporter, uh, using it you will telefrag all the cybers. And now I want to clear the top area so these guys don't interrupt me while I'm doing platforming for the next two secrets. So you can jump down here to the top of the blood waterfall to get a soul sphere and then you can jump to the opposite side of the canyon. Down below you'll find a BFG and that would be the last secret of the map. Oh yeah, here it is. So now we have a BFG and all the secrets and basically we only have two fights left. So when you go up these stairs, Revenants and the Green Cyber will spawn. But there is a small trick. 
uh, revenants spawn when you walk on the last step and cyber spawns when you grab a yellow key on the top of the platform. So I carefully triggered only revenants and this makes this fight easier. And Cyber is on a timer, so I am waiting for him to spawn. Anyway, we can now open these two doors and go for the final fight. You get a non-secret BFG before the final fight and also don't forget to take the Mega. Yeah, this one. And the final fight is basically three cybers, uh, regular ones, and a lot of revenants. I start by getting the cells that are the closest to the revenants, then I will shoot rockets until revenants come too close, and then I will switch to the BFG. And after most of the front group of revenant uh, is dead, I will run past them and past the cybers, so the revenants from the back, they also uh, in fight and also get killed by the cybers. And after most of the revenants are dead, I will restock on health and cells. So there are two rooms, uh, and the room on the left has a megasphere, and the room on the right has 200 cells. Although this revenant really tried to mess me up. One cyber left, but I can see him, so I'm waiting a bit for him to show up. And here he is. And the hardest aspect of this fight is basically darkness. Uh, you often can see where the cybers are, and it makes it much harder to dodge the rockets. Anyway, we are done now, and we can finally get that promised uh, free shit. So yeah, this was map 9, the final map of the WAD, uh, longest as well. I'm not sure if it's harder than map 6 or not, but it definitely requires more endurance. I uh, like it a lot, except that maybe the beginning is too slow for such a map, but uh, it's just my personal taste. Otherwise, cool fights, great visuals uh, that cover a variety of different themes, uh, and tech bases, and caves, some toxic outdoors, uh, even the Blood Canyon, very cool stuff. And very fitting as the last map of the WAD as well. Let's get to the credits map now. So that's map 10, credits map. It doesn't even allow you to move, so yeah, just uh, read the signs and enjoy the music. The sign on the right says, as expected, Arigato, and the sign on the left says, as expected, Pagodia. So yeah, this is the end of my Pagodia Max playthrough. I definitely enjoyed it a lot. I think my favorite map visually is map 2, but in terms of fights my favorite map is definitely map 6. And my favorite overall, well, I know I'm torn between map 3 and map 6, let it be both. Map 5 also takes a special place in my heart as the one I speedrun the most and for a whole bunch of different categories, both successfully and unsuccessfully. Overall, it was a lot of fun. But anyway, all of the maps are really cool and I enjoyed all of them. Great visual theme, a very cool combination of purple and bright green. 
for the color palette and awesome selection of midis for each map, especially maps 6 and 8. So yeah, great stuff. I'm definitely looking forward for the future releases of the Squonka Squad and I hope you enjoyed my playthrough as well. So, bye!